Hey guys, in this video I'm just doing some little art cards featuring crows. And uh, this was meant to make use of a package of ink supplies that I had ordered online, but since um, a lot of them are either not light fast or really functional right now, I decided to do this video anyway just using a Copic Multiliner and some Liquitex acrylic ink. But anyway, um, so I do notice sometimes when I cruise artists' websites, they usually have a really specific goal. Um, you'll, you'll notice that they will say, oh, I make abstract art about fruit to uh, talk about mortality or something. You know, they will usually have a very specific medium concept and just overall look. And when I'm writing my own general art statements, I find it very difficult because I don't really have that. I don't have a very specific thing to do. Um, and I, don't, I think that's true for a lot of people. I remember when I was in high school and I took an art careers course. <laughs> um, it was just a free period pretty much. And our focus was to make a portfolio. Um, we could do any art that we wanted, but each art piece had to be connected in some way, either by using the same medium, or by doing the same subject, or just doing the same style. Just something that ties everything together, and they called this a cohesive portfolio. And it's a very popular piece of advice, and I do kind of agree with it because it looks good. It looks like you know what you're doing, <laughs> even if you don't. And I think it all kind of comes down to art galleries and how they used to be the best way to get our artwork out there we didn't when we didn't have the internet you couldn't really just wander the streets with your art in your hand you had to find someone to represent you and galleries tend to make their own profit they were only looking for art that was marketable and easy to pitch to an audience and in order to do that you had to have something to say and it's easier to pitch to a gallery if you have a concept or a single idea to pull together all your different works of art and I struggled with this a lot because I never really stuck to a concept so anytime I wanted to write a proposal to an art gallery I had to think about okay well what am I doing what am I trying to sell to these art galleries and they want to be able to bring people into the gallery by saying oh this artist helps the community by doing blah or it brings attention to this social problem and if you don't fit in to that high drama approach it's a lot harder to write a proposal and it's a lot harder to get seen by galleries that have space and I think a lot of artists reject the notion of working this way because and artists like want to have freedom we want to be able to do what we want and we want to be appreciated for what we do and everyone does so there is a lot of resistance especially now that galleries don't really have the power they used to relative to things like instagram and pinterest and free websites you can access a worldwide audience for free so why do we give a commission to these galleries that very few people can actually access and the art gallery that I send my work to locally all the time they keep their doors locked and the lights off like I don't I don't know why we should pay a 30% commission to a gallery that doesn't show your work however in the last few years I have been playing with the idea of working in a series um, I think specifically so that I had something to pitch to galleries so for example, I had a Living Spaces series, and that was mostly um, illustrations of places. I have another one that was the cube satellite uh, paintings where I'm sending this cat into space. And just because that idea was so interesting to me, I have done a few, and I think that I could do a lot more. So that's kind of turned itself into a bit of a series. Um, I have my found poetry journal, which is a specific place for um, using up 
uh, printed text that I don't want anymore. I've been doing uh, acrylic gouache landscapes, which could be their own series. So all the things that I'm doing could be broken up into different series, even though I'm doing them all at the same time. And so I don't feel limited to what I want to do because I can just open up a new <laughs> grouping of artwork anytime I want to. But the benefit is so much easier to write an artist statement about acrylic gouache studies because they all have a thing in common, they all have some kind of purpose, and I can write about that. Whereas if I had to write about all of these things at the same time, I would struggle a lot. I don't know how I would be able to tie all of these different things together into one sort of conceptual statement, you know what I mean? Also, I could turn each of these things into their own printed products, for example. I could do a whole zine of all the places that I could send my cube satellite. I could make a calendar for my acrylic gouache studies. It also gives me the ability to really tightly narrow down the audience for my artwork. They say in business you should always know who your audience is and that's also very difficult to do because initially your audience is just going to be like anybody, anybody who wants to look. But if I was selling a illustrated book about my uh, cat CubeSat and all the adventures that he was going on, I would be able to say, you know, the people who would like this are people who uh, love storybooks, love cats, <laughs> like the idea of traveling to space. You know, it, like it narrows it down significantly. And finally, like the biggest benefit I've noticed to having different series of artwork going on at the same time is that I'm never out of inspiration. If I have no ideas, if I haven't left the house in a while, if I am somehow unaware of what's going on in the world and I just don't know what the heck to draw, I will always have something to do because I can just do another gouache landscape, fiddle around in my found poetry journal, I always have something to do. And I've never had this before, I've always kind of, every day when making art videos for YouTube, I always kind of work from scratch. Every time I always thought, what am I going to do? What am I going to work on? Am I just going to do more crows? I don't know, uh, fan art? What, what am I going to do? I just don't know. And I have a deadline and I have to have it done right now. But now it's just, I always have something to do. I always have some ideas. I can do more sketches and studies for Patreon now. There's so much going on there. I find that my productivity has just exploded this year. Of course, a lot of it has to do with the amount of time that I have. I'm pretty much never starting from scratch anymore. I always just have somewhere to go. So yeah, maybe like look at your own work and see if you could spot some trends and, and if there's something that you really like to turn back to over and over again and maybe you can find more things. And you know, at Patreon, we were doing blackberries last month and this month we are doing um, shadows and there's just so many things that we could do that fits into that theme that we'll just never run out of ideas. So yeah, I guess in conclusion, I think working in a series is A-OK. -okay. Because sometimes having too much freedom kind of sucks. But anyway, this has gone on too long, so I will see you next time and thanks for watching.